disaster. And to paraphrase the words of Rajad Kipling, treated those two imposters just the same. A club that never walked alone, and a club that eventually came out smiling. Anfield falls into darkness ahead of a trophy presentation for which they have waited three long decades. What a quite remarkable season it's been, finishing the home campaign tonight with that thrilling 5-3 win against Chelsea. 59 games unbeaten here now, and more than three years of wins and draws here. But to guide you through the presentation, let's hand you back to our match commentator, to Peter Drury. And so at the eventual end of this season, like no other, a coronation unlike anything we have witnessed before. The presentation team comprises Richard Masters at the end of a debut campaign as the Premier League's chief executive, which has thrown at him more than he can have considered remotely possible. It has been an exceptional effort from him and so many around him that the season has reached something like a natural sporting end. And of course, with a mighty poignancy, Sir Kenny Dalgleish in front of almost nobody, gone half past ten at night on Wednesday the 22nd of July, nearer the intended start of next season than the scheduled end of this, nigh on a month since their triumph was confirmed, some four months since at normal times it would have been sealed. And now look, Shankly, Paisley, Fagan, Dalgleish, Jurgen Klopp, from another city in another land, and yet somehow born to this one, at once he understood Liverpool, and Liverpool understood him. Simply a transformational leader. His values are their values. His ambitions match theirs. His clenched fist, his sparkling smile, his irresistible charisma, and his approval by the man who, with a nod and a wink and a hug, has passed on across the generations Liverpool's baton of greatness. Dalgleish builds a bridge to Klopp. A beautiful moment, Jim. Yeah, well, Jurgen Klopp has been the real game changer in all of this. You can look at certain players and think, yes, they, they made a difference, and they did in the likes of Van Dijk and Alisson. But Jurgen Klopp has turned this club right around. And it's almost going back to Shankly's time, Peter. He's made the people happy again. Physical absence of people is, of course, painfully felt. As much as any club in the world, Liverpool Football Club is its people. The crop is bricks and mortar, but much, much more than that. It is the souls that stand upon it, that have stood on it since time immemorial, that have swayed and bathed and gloried in this most storied of sporting institutions. How special they would have made this, of course, but how special Liverpool intend to make it for them. That is why it is happening on the cop. This presentation not for a platform on the player's turf. This one is happening on the people's territory. Poignant and considerate. Liverpool's message to their fans is that this one is for you. First up the staff and then the non-medal winning players. And now we are into the business. Alisson, considered by many the missing piece. Well, he had to go back to Kiev and that horrible night for Loris Karius and Liverpool had to do something about that position and Alisson has delivered spectacularly for them. Adrian has deputised more than he might have expected right from the very first night here when he came on against Norwich City and when he has deputised he has done so ably. But perhaps there is no deputy anywhere for Virgil van Dijk. Composure itself, utterly imperturbable. He's the Anfield rock of that defence. He has made a remarkable difference on the football pitch, and not just because of his football, his composure, but his leadership, his command. A stunning introduction. Roberto Firmino took the wrong turn. He certainly didn't this evening when he rose high to pummel in an Alexander-Arnold cross. Liverpool's number nine with a proper centre forwards goal. Now 
we will certainly remember the goals of Fabinho this season. When he scores, he doesn't do half a job, he lets rip. tonight as well and he's got the showbiz shades say, yeah I mean he's trying to look super cool and to be honest he's pulled it off it has the look of a rock concert this with the light show and he has the look of a rock star Firmino and Salah don't get you, Sadio Mane will. The Holy Trinity up front for Liverpool has surpassed anything anyone else has to offer. His sheer dynamism is different level. What's a call for Naby Keita tonight? He chose his night all right. Feeling the fun, feeling the rhythm. Joe Gomez has grown into his Liverpool first team shirt. Van Dijk's preferred partner, and for good reason. He has it all, and he has a, a huge career ahead of him, Joe Gomez. When you recruit Divock Origi, if only to play in the derby. Everton light up his eyes. He scores special goals in the special games. An understudy, but an understudy who knows the lines. It's real special delight for Alex Oxlade Chamberlain, who's missed so much in his career, not least since he came to Liverpool. Missed the European night, but scored on the Premier League party night. Try taking that one away from him. And then there's the Scouser. Of them all, he is the one who can say, I was born to this. My club, my city. Thank you, boss. Alexander Arnold, Route 66. What a player, what a talent. from right to left. They have become twins. What one does, the other matches. The coverage of yards of miles, week on week, month on month, by those fullbacks is beyond ordinary. As indeed is James Milner, as ordinarily as he tries to portray himself, this now is a three-time champion of England. What an example he is. Just try to match his professionalism and you'll have quite a career. And lovely that he gets his moment too. A man for whom so much affection at this club career here to some extent interrupted by injury but he played his part nobody will ever rob him of that goal at Old Trafford in the title year Dayan Lovren sturdily too a part of a Liverpool backline which at times this season has felt impenetrable as if you could forget tiptoeing up on another 20 goal season in the Premier League and this time a season that is adorned with a medal a smile on Mo Salah as wide as Anfield Matip the other centre half they've had options there and sometimes this season they have needed options Turn from those four, and none has let them down. The captain, a Dalgleish investment, once doubted by some. The boy born in Sunderland in the summer of 1990 when Liverpool last ruled the land, and who grew one day to lift the European Cup, and 
a year later to follow now in the fabled footsteps of Ron Yates and Tommy Smith, to Emin Hughes and Bill Thompson, Graham Suness and Alan Hansen to skip a Liverpool to the title. At the end of the season they feared may never end. The longest wait, a generation on and more, for the 19th time in their history, for the first time in the Premier League, in the never to be forgotten year of 2020, the champions of England again at last.
evening. Fireworks, lasers, and a spectacular show both on and off the pitch. Uh, thanks to Peter Drury, your match commentator, and Jim Beglin, the former Liverpool title winner himself. Lincoln Clock's enthusiasm clearly infectious. And great to see some of the backroom staff joining him up on the podium as well. The likes of uh, Peter Kravitz, the assistant manager who followed Clock to Liverpool back in 2015. Pep Linders, the assistant manager who came back in the summer of 2018 after spending uh, three and a half years with the club initially as under 16 coach at the academy for a season before taking up the newly created position of first team development coach in 2015. Mark Jack Robinson, Peter Matos, and also Curtis Jones making sure that he got his medal coming on as a substitute today. 23 players getting a medal, along with Jurgen Klopp making it 24 in all. to win league titles since the Second World War. We think back to how things began for him, his first managerial role at Heights, 2001 to 8, when he led the club to the Bundesliga for the first time in their history, back in the 03-04 season, here with this Liverpool team, this remarkable Liverpool team, what a tremendous achievement. 27 matches in the Premier League this season. They only drew one of them, that was away to Manchester United. And had that brilliant uh, winning run in the middle of it all. And indeed, when you see the likes of the Jordan Henderson there, let's just uh, remember that only four players to have played for Liverpool this season were actually alive. The previous time the club won the league title. James Milner, Premier League title winner at the club, Adrian, Adam Lallana, Dan Lovren, and Jordan Henderson himself, born 50 days after they last clinched the title back in April 1990, under Sir Kenny Dalgleish. Margaret Thatcher was Prime Minister of Peter Parker, cost just one pound twenty. Season 5 3, the final score comes from Cater, Alexander Arnold, Wijnaldum, Firmino, and Oxlade Chamberlain. Strings of Jerry and Alaska, Jerry the Pacemakers echoing around Anfield in this very strange season in such strange circumstances. Also, congratulate West Bromwich Albion. The Baggies will be back in the Premier League for next season. They join Leeds in securing their promotion tonight. Some right wing Manchester United fans were probably supporting Liverpool as well. But, uh, one of the other teams to come up will come from a group of four from Brentford, Fulham, Cardiff, and Swansea. But enjoy the strains of this special anthem.
for Liverpool, the champions, it has been a season that's been unforgettable, it's been unparalleled. The shadows of recent decades finally replaced by smiles and celebrations again. Triumph replacing tribulation. They've won the Premier League with a style and swagger so pleasing on the Liverpool line. Worthy successors to the teams of Shankly, Paisley and Dalgleish. The prize is red, one they'll savour and treasure. Tonight the night, Liverpool dreams have finally come true. From me, Steve Banyard and the rest of the team, good night.